I was at the farm a few days ago and I saw this bird. I was really scared and I felt, oh, this is Coriza. So just watch this video and see how we dealt with this, how we handled this and ensure we took this out of the eyes of this bird. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Modupe. I am a poetry YouTuber based in Nigeria. So um, the production from this flock has been reducing for some days now and it's reduced so bad. Like we are literally losing over 10 crates from, um, from this flock each day. So I was walking around the flock, around this particular row and I noticed these birds. So the first thing I did was to take it out of the cage and isolate it so i took it out of the cage and put it in the sick bay and just have it only in the sick bay so what you see um you see that the eyes of this bird is literally closed there's something blocking the eyes of the bird and this is what we call coriza so um in this video we're just going to talk about um the signs i i mean symptoms we're going to talk about what this coriza infectious coriza is we'll talk about the symptoms and likely treatment, prevention, and also control. And also, you're going to see how we're going to um, remove this um, this thing. is like pus from the eyes of the bird. So, yeah, what is coriza? Coriza is actually um, infectious coriza. It is sometimes referred to as cold. It is caused by bacteria um, in birds. The disease primarily affects chickens, mostly chickens. So also, um, coriza is primarily transmitted by direct bird-to-bird -bird contacts. Also, birds can contact this disease by breathing airborne bacteria and also by consuming contaminated feed and water. The disease can also be introduced when, an, um, when infected birds are brought into the flock. Then also, birds also recover from this disease, but of course, they would always remain carriers of the organism i may occasionally share the bacteria during their life so you probably wonder that okay so what are the signs that a bird has um coriza so a typical sign of coriza include the following um they would have um labored breathing they may have they would have swellings around the eyes like you see this bird now this chicken they're swelling around the eyes and we're just trying to remove the pus also then you probably have um foul smelling thick and sticky discharge from the nose and the eyes so you see this um sticky discharge that is coming out of the eyes that's what we mean then also yeah i mentioned that they may have labored breathing in addition to all that symptoms the eyelid of an infected bird can become irritated and might stick together like you notice in this chicken also then also um growing birds may become stunted then also this infection how bad it is like it affected my farm is that um it can also decrease egg production yes because i mentioned that it really decreased the production from this flock i usually have 31 crate 32 crate from them every day it's i reducing every day and um eventually we will probably producing like 19 crates from them then also the mortality can also be as high as 50 percent but 20 percent mortality is usually the common and the disease can last as little as a few days or for as long as a few months depending on how fast you treat them so the treatment how you treat um coriza is that um because coriza is caused by bacteria antibiotics would be used to treat the flock it is important to follow the medication schedule and everything and also you see that it controls everything then for prevention i would just advise that biosecurity is taken very seriously that's like the best um the best um prevention method here yeah. take your biosecurity very seriously so in this video here yeah, we have tried to take out the pulse from the eyes of this bird i'm actually scared then of course we use methylated spirit to clean it once we are done so that um it just prevents flies and all that and would we'll ensure that we use this methylated spirit um continuously um so that um the bed doesn't have irritation so that's about it for this video i hope you've learned something to so we'll see on another video bye bye